What is up and welcome back to the last video of 2021. This was a very, very cool year for puzzles and for Puzzle Wonder. I feel like this year has been a major catalyst for change. I feel like this year I have found new passions, new hobbies, a new love for what I'm doing. Before we get into the top five puzzles, I just really want to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel so far, commenting, liking, even if you just subscribe, I really appreciate that and I'm super thankful because thanks to you we can grow this channel together and make this a real thing. Last year I've done a post about top 4 influential puzzles of the year, but this year I'll just show 5 puzzles that I really enjoyed this year. So without further ado, let's start browsing the puzzles. Number 5 on the list is the Jigsaw 29 by Yuasaka. This puzzle is just so ingenious. It has 29 pieces and they look like they are normal jigsaws. As you can see, nothing special about this one. Well, it is a bit weird, but look at this piece. It looks so normal. And you need to fit them inside the tray. However, this is a very tricky puzzle. Extremely creative and just bends everything you know about jigsaw puzzles overall. Honestly, when I solved it, I was just smiling all the way through. At the beginning, I didn't smile because I was like, what, how this puzzle works? But when I started actually progressing and finding the correct pieces, the way they fit just blew my mind. It was just so much fun to solve this puzzle overall. I think this is really one of the most important puzzles by Yuasaka that you should solve. If I take all Yuasaka puzzles that he ever made, Made and that I solved, which is most of them. I think this is my favorite Yuasaka puzzle and just one of the best tray backing puzzles that I've solved this year. The next puzzle is a bit like beer. I didn't like it that much, but the more I had it and the more I played with it, the more I liked it. And it's the Daedalus Cube. And this puzzle is just magnificent. It's so beautiful, it's extremely well made. Uh, was designed by Gregor Benedetti and made by Eric Fuller. I never saw a puzzle like this before, seriously. The weight of it, the moves, and the mechanism are all just too good to be true, honestly. There are basically indents inside the puzzle where these pins go into, and it's so complex and difficult. Like, this is honestly one of the hardest puzzles that I solved, but it's so fun, and like, once you get used to it, it's just amazing. One of the craziest things is that I actually had to learn how to solve it. Even when I solved it the second time, I wasn't quite sure how to do it. So every once in a while, I try to solve this puzzle and, <laughs> and forget how to do it. So I just enjoy this puzzle lots of times. If you want to see me solve this puzzle, by the way, on the channel, please let me know because I really do forget how it works sometimes. And I think you will be fascinated to see how it actually works. So amazing. So let's move on to the next one. The number three puzzle on the list is a puzzle that I got from a dear friend, Puzzle Guy. When he was at his house for the last day, he just gifted it to me and he said like, I have this uh, more than once, you can take it. And this is the, I'm not sure what's the name of this. This is the Shrinking Saw puzzle by Dr. Volker Latusek. The goal of this puzzle is pretty simple. It's actually a box with only seven pieces and your goal is basically to put all the pieces inside in such a way that it covers the lid and if you shake the lid to any side, it will not fall off. And this is so crazy because these seven pieces actually form a Soma cube, a three by three cube. It's just so fascinating because the objective of this puzzle is really different from many other puzzles that I saw. So it was a completely new and fresh experience for me. And it took me a lot of time to figure out how it works, but it was super fun. Because I solved so many puzzles already, there are many puzzles that I start solving and I quickly grasp what is needed for me. But with this one, I knew the objective, but I had to actually translate it into actions. So that was really, really fun. And thank you again, Puzzle Guy, for uh, gifting this to me. I really appreciate it. How can we actually do a top five video without mentioning a Haniyama puzzle? And it's the nut case. Super cool puzzle where your goal is to uh, find the nut inside this. Uh, this all actually comes apart. The puzzle is extremely beautiful 
and extremely ingenious. It's one of the coolest Anayamas that I saw this year just because it's so special and different. I believe it's the only trick bolt puzzle in the Anayama series. It's just so well made, executed. This is actually a present, a birthday present from my friend who is now uh, learning how to be a pilot in the USA. So uh, mate, if you're watching this, I wish you best of luck. I really enjoyed figuring this one out. I think I should make a short video about it because I think you will enjoy to see how it works as well. And our puzzles are overall the best series for beginners in puzzles because you can't really go wrong with an AMO puzzle. They are always fun and always interesting and cheap, really cheap. Let's move to the next one. The last puzzle is actually the craziest one. It was so difficult to solve but instantly became my favorite and it's the Bachinko box. This puzzle is just a beast. You saw the video, it took me three hours to solve this crazy puzzle and that's after I had it for one whole year and couldn't solve it then. And it's just such an ingenious puzzle. It has everything you want in a puzzle. It has many steps. It is very difficult. It's very fun. It's made so well. It's extremely well made. I was hunting for this puzzle for so long before I got it. And I feel like the solution of this puzzle overall is really one of my best moments this year with puzzles. It has so many mechanics that I never saw in any other puzzles and use tools in an ingenious way. And I'm just so happy to have this one. It's so heavy. It feels amazing in your hands. I just really appreciate the thought and work that goes into puzzles like this one. It's really difficult to make a puzzle of this quality. I just love this thing. Even crazier is that I told myself last year that I will solve it on the year 2021. Doing it, even though it's just a puzzle, you know, it's not like a life goal or something, but for me it was so satisfying and fun and fulfilling to solve this one. That was it for today's video and for this year actually. 2021 has been a fantastic year for this channel. I am very grateful for everyone who has been supportive thus far. I wish you the best year 2022 as it can possibly be. I hope that all your goals and all your wishes come true. I genuinely wish you the best. I hope that everyone who watches this has a fulfilling year 2022. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Oh, oh, oh. see you guys next year. <laughs> I was waiting for this. That was it. That was it. That was it for today's. That was it. That was it for today's. Look at it. I'm going back. That was it. That was it for today's video. <laughs>